Hello everybody and here is my 2022 June Mario plush collection. The last one I did was in July last year and I had 55 or 56 plushies that time and now I probably have a good 25 more or so. I, I didn't even count how many there are because like there was a lot of ones I didn't even know that I had. Based on, well I knew what I had them but I had totally forgot about them until I was getting all these out, so let's go on to the start, which is the Mario section. So this is the sofa I recorded the plush collection last year, but it's actually in a different room, it's in my kitchen. But anyways, let's move on to the first Mario plush I ever got, which was this big Sine 2011 Mario. I'm pretty sure this is from the Super Mario set they made at the time, which ran through like a, a good few years, and yeah, there's nothing really to say from it, say about it. My sister got it from a shop, like a local shop, and she gave it to me because she didn't really want it too much anymore. So yeah, next is the All-Star Mario. This is just like an accurate Mario. This is like the Mario most people have these days. And let's just set him here. There's nothing too much to go on about him. Next we actually have another All-Star Mario, which has his hat removed. I got this off eBay last year. You might remember the review I made on him, or unboxing. And I cut his half hat off in the video and like hitting on Goomba and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just set him here. I got him for really cheap. I don't know if I said that or not already. Whatever. Next we have this Mario Wedding Yoshi. I got this with the Luigi one, which I'll show after for only 13 pounds and these are worth quite a bit more than that like maybe 20 each which was a pure bargain next we have this world of nintendo mario they made bigger ones lately but i don't think i'll get any of them the first time i saw them i didn't even know they were a thing and i just went to a shop and saw them and was like whoa what are these and i kind of wanted to buy them but they're like I don't now that I real now that I think about it, they really wouldn't be worth it. Next is one of my newest plushies in my collection, the Super Nintendo World Mario. This I got this from Japan and I uploaded a review of it, or well unboxing, a few days ago, which I I actually got this in like January. This is probably like one of the only videos you've seen him. Maybe like did I do one before this? No, I had only, the first time I had showed him was in that unbo unboxing, like on this channel, so we'll set him, we'll set him here actually. Uh, next let's move on to Baby Mario, this is the all-star one. I got this along with Baby Mar Baby Luigi and a few other, like Mario plushies which I'll get onto later, so yeah, I got this from Japan, like from a Jap Japanese website, and yeah, it's quite a cool thing to have in my collection. Next we have a wing cap Mario. This one isn't tied. I got this in a bundle with two other BDNA plushies. You probably, if you watched the one last year, I'm literally repeating the exact same stuff that I said last year. Quite coincidentally, so... Here's my wing cap Mario. We'll set him... I don't know. Oh yeah, it was also £14. Only for two other ones, along with him. Next we have a duplicate of Wing Cat Mario, which I got in another BDNA bundle in October. And he's kind of dirty, but he does have the tag and stuff. And I put him, I had to put him in the washer because he was like really disgusting. Like he had a bunch of marks over him and stuff. And he kind of, his tie kind of faded. So yeah, here's Wing Cat Mario. I'll show the other five plushies I got in this bundle, or over four I think it was. Yeah, there was a Banjo-Kazooie plush in it, but I sold that so I could get other Mario plushies and stuff like that, like other Mario enemies and stuff. I'll show later on, so let's just set him here beside the second one. And my final Mario, I think, I spent a few minutes looking, and my brother just pointed this out last second that I had this Cat Mario plush. I had just I was looking for red and then I forgot that I had this. And my brother was like, oh, this is a Mario. And I was like, oh yeah, I, for I forgot to put that there. So let's just set him, I don't know, 
here. I'll move Baby Mario to there. I move Cat Mario here. So this is my full Mario collection. Okay, so next let's move on to the Luigi section. I have a lot less Luigi's than Mario's. So first is the All-Star Luigi. I got this in the same order with Mario, but for some reason he came a few weeks earlier. He's probably from a different seller then. But I ordered them both at the same, exact same time. So yeah, this is the main Luigi I use in videos, along with that Mario. I just use so many. It's like sometimes I use this one, but sometimes I use that one. Kind of weird, but it doesn't really matter. This is the main one I use, and the main Luigi most people have probably. Next, let's move on to one of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on to the Super Nintendo World Luigi. I got this with the Mario. If you know from that unboxing and this is a pretty cool Luigi plush whenever I got it I didn't like it as much as I thought I would whenever like last year I was like so obsessed with getting these I like spent so much to get a tiny chef toad I spent 35 pounds to get one which I kind of regret doing because I could have been buying other better Mario plushies like I mean not better but just like a lot more of them instead of just buying one all right, so there we go. Next we have this Luigi. It's the same one as that Mario I was talking about. And he's a pretty cool plush. His face just looks kind of weird. He looks a bit, I don't know, droopy. But that doesn't really matter. And where will he go? He'll go just there. Wait, no, he'll go there. Okay, let's next move on to the world of Nintendo Luigi I got this a few months before the Mario I got this in the same store but a few months earlier so that's the second here not too special about him next we have baby Luigi I got this in the same order as Mario as I was saying before and I kind of want to get a new baby Mario because his proportions are kind of weird like it's hat just like kind of goes over his eyes so you can't really see it but this Luigi is like literally perfect in my opinion so let's just set him up here. he'll be in more videos I don't know when but okay so next we have this world of Nintendo cat Luigi I got this while I was like kind of on the break it was like a few weeks before the chef toad I got I had nothing too special about him I got him in the same store as this along with another World of Nintendo cat plush, which you can probably tell if it wasn't in the Mario section. Alright, so this is my Luigi collection. I don't think there are any more plushies, but I'll just throw some in later on if I do find any. Now on to one of my biggest sections of the, or maybe even biggest, not counting Bowser's minions because they're like a whole pile of different characters. But here's my Toad and Toadette kind of collection section i mean so here is the all-star toad um, this is like the i got this before the all-star mario and luigi surprisingly you can see him i'm not too sure where i'm gonna put this toad section because i don't want it to take this take so much things up so i'm probably just gonna set him here this is a classic just normal toad he's standing up next let's move on to the super nintendo world toad I actually quite like this toad, he's sitting down and his face just looks like his like, collars and stuff like that and vest just looks like a lot more stuff, stiff and yeah I might like this one more than the all-star one but I'd rather use this one for videos because this one's quite special and rare and stuff so I don't think I'll be bringing this one outside or anything for videos and I have a video planned that I'll record later probably involving toad that toad i'll bring him outside like the yoshi dies video i recorded last week i love that video i know i'm praising myself but it doesn't really matter okay so which one we're gonna move on to next i'll just go on to the mario 45 one i got this for eight pound along with a fat toad out which i'll show in a second and this was a pure steal. This is one of the like releases after I think. Like, like they made two gens of Mario Party Five Toad. Like the start, they made these ones that looked all like 
I'm not really sure how to describe them, but like the I'll put, I'll probably put a picture up on screen if I can find one. That's what the original ones look like. But later on, they made ones that look a bit like this, and I prefer these ones to be honest. They look less like kind of like scruffy and like they look a bit softer and stuff like that. So yeah, I I was so happy to get this plush though. Like whenever I saw on eBay, I just ran up to my parents and asked them like at like eight o'clock in the morning. Whenever I saw this, or nine, or something like that, and because I had money, I just gave them it and was like, "Can I buy this?" And then they're like, "Sure." Okay, so let's next move on to Blue Toad. He's getting kind of dirty. Let's see, I'm not sure why. But I got this really cheap around Christmas. I just had some like spare money that I got. From, I don't know where that I just saw him. He was up since like August or something, which was like four months or something and it was like five pound i'm not sure how this didn't sell but i bought it and he's now he's mine now okay so there we have him next we'll move on to the bdna toad i actually don't have a bdna luigi sadly but i really want one of them in the future they are extremely rare here i don't really know if i've seen one before to be honest okay so here's bdna Toad, I got this in the same bundle of the tagged wing cap Mario. As you can see, all the tagged ones I got from that bundle. And then all the non-tagged ones I got from the bundle where I got the non-tagged wing cap Mario. So just note that. Here is Toad. And his tag is very worn out. Like before I watched him, he was literally grey. He literally looked like a stone, but now that I washed him, he looks like an actual toad now. That was a fun fact. Okay, let's next on to the cat toad. This is the other one I bought with the Luigi. This I just need the uh, Mario of these to complete the set, but I don't think I will because I have this one now. But there's nothing too much to say about him, and this video is getting already long. It's probably already like 10 minutes, and... I've only showed this, so I need to get quicker. Next, we have Toadette. This is the all-star one. My mom bought four of these from a website, so she can like do a bit of business with these. And, and because I told her about them, she gave me one of them for free, which was really cool. So I got this for, my parents just bought me this for free because I told them about it and made a lot of profit with these Toadettes this toadette business going on. Next we have this big fat toadette which I got with the Mario Party 5 one. So let's just set it. Where will I set this actually? I don't want it to cover all those ones. I'll set it like here, I guess. Yeah, there, yeah. Next we'll move on to my overpriced tiny chef toe plush I bought for five or five pound on eBay. Okay, so here is about this from Japan. Last year I did an unboxing on him too. Oh well, I think it was an unboxing, I'm not sure. I think it was like it was like in the bag, I've never seen it, I just opened it. Like, I'm not I can't really remember. But here is my bigger chef toad, which I got along with the Toad, Mario and Luigi. All of these plushies in the first three sections, so that's all the Super Nintendo world you see until never. Okay, so here is my toad. Next, moving on to my princess section, which is one of my smallest sections, which is funny. So here is All Star Peach. We'll just set that there. I got this along with Daisy and oh, Daisy fell, but along with a few colored Yoshi's last year. I did an unboxing. Here is the Daisy I was talking about. Nothing really to talk about there because I want this video to not be too long because I do not want to edit like five years of footage. Here is this big good stuff page. I got scammed on Amazon to try get this, but they gave me this thing. It's still official, but I did not want it. So here is my princesses. Next, let's uh, move. Let's let's move on to the Yoshi's. Okay, so here is All Star Yoshi. I got this in the mall. But I left it for Christmas, so yeah, nothing too much to talk about him. He's just the Yoshi that a lot of people have. He defractured his leg. Yoshi dies once again. 
Okay, so let's next move on to All Star Red Yoshi. I got this along with Peach and Daisy. Let's just set him here. Next is Yellow Yoshi. And I got this along with Red Yoshi, Daisy, and Peach. Okay, so here he is. And the final plush I got in that order was Dark Blue Yoshi. I still need a light blue Yoshi. And a whole pile of colors. So yeah, here is the Yoshis. I also forgot to get one Yoshi now that I remember it. Here we go. I was just sitting on the floor. Pink Yoshi, I totally forgot I had this. And it was just sitting in the middle of the floor under some plushies. And then I was like, oh yeah, I also have a pink one. While I was doing the one there. So let's actually move it here so it's just be like dying. All right, there's the Dying of Yoshi's here is my first Yoshi plush, which was my third Mario plush ever. This is the Goldie Yoshi, the 2010 version. I don't know why, but there's some like Goldie Yoshi's that look like so good, but like mine looks so weird. And like the Goldie Mario, like I saw them with him in a store, and he looks so ugly and weird. But there's some ones like the old ones look like really good. So let's just put him there. Next we have this. Big, oh, this big All Star Yoshi. I got this for Christmas, and I didn't. The, I uploaded the unboxing of him a few days ago, and he was in my bed for the whole time, and he has been taken out of the bed so I can record this, and he will go back in the bed after. Okay, so we have this good stuff Yoshi. I was trying to get the All Star one in 2020 off Amazon. 2020 Amazon scams be like. I don't know what they are, but I was just trying to make it sound seem, seem like so like epic or something. And I mean this I don't really like this plush bar too much, but he's there and he's he has in my collection. So next we have this Simba Yoshi key ring. This is a very obscure company. They just started making Mario plushies lately and they they've been they're filled to the brim on eBay and in like some shops and stuff like that. Like I bought this for £10 and a few days after I saw like a big one like the size of the All-Star Yoshi that looked like so good. And like it had like cardboard and stuff in the feet and stuff like that for the exact same price. So I'm so annoyed that I bought this. I just saw it there and I was I, and it had no price tag on it but I went up to the counter and uh, I just like paid for it by accident and they said it was £10 and I was like no I don't want that but they're like you know you have to just pay for it, you bought it already so I just had to take it. So here is my BDNA Yoshi. I got this in the wing cap one because it's not tagged with the non-tagged wing cap. Let's just set him here and the final Yoshi is another BDNA Yoshi which has the tag and he's also the red shoe version which is a lot rarer. I, d I think this one probably came out first. But it's really cool to have this red shoe variant. I'm not sure how much he would be worth like like compared to the other one but here is my full Yoshi collection just an update. Here's all of it so far which is all, quite a lot. Next, we'll move on to the Bowser collection, which is just like Bowser, the Koopalings, and Bowser Jr. So, let's start off with the All-Star Bowser. This plush is really good. One of my favorite plushies I have. I, sp I spent quite a bit for it, but it was hell worth it. It's a really good plush. Next, we'll move on to... Oh, wait. No. Here is the BDNA Bowser. Oh, God. Uh... His tag kind of, his tag just kind of falls off, but you can kind of reconnect it. I got this with the Red Shoe Yoshi and the Tide Queen Cat Mario and Toad and stuff like that. So, nothing too much to say about him. Let's just set him there. Oh, let's just set him there, I guess. Yeah. Next is a uh, 2009 Bowser Jr. A lot of people spend so much money for this because they're like, Oh, it's a Super Mario Logan plush when it's not. It's a Sine plush. Get your facts right, kids. 
Less than a day, kids. That's not a Super Mario Logan plush. That is a Sine plush. Okay, so here is a 2012 or 2011 Junior. He's still tagged. I got this 2009 one tagged, but I put it off because it was for videos. It was only £13. This one was 17 tagged as well. So 30 for two tagged juniors is good. Okay, so next, let's move on to the Cooperlings. First we have Larry, which is the first one I got, and he's in quite bad condition, like, he has no back tie, his mohawk just wiggles around and stuff, and his colors are very, very faded. I will get the all-star one eventually, because I'm trying to just get all the all-star ones, and I'm probably gonna get, like, a big shelf, and have all of them, like, in, in number, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and just, just all up to 76. Which is how much there is because there was new ones revealed yesterday. I'm still waiting on Amazon to get them and have pages for them, but they will not get them. For some reason. Next is Lemmy, which I got this for Christmas along with Morton, which I'll show in a second. Nothing too much to say about him. This is the All Star one, and that's the normal one. Next is the All Star Wendy plush. I got this along with the. Super Nintendo World ones. I did the unboxing a few days ago. Like, I barely touched this plush because I didn't get it too long ago and it just kind of sits on my shelf. So, there, there it is. Next is the Eggy plush. This is the normal one. It's just, this was the second one I got. I got this in like November 2020. Yeah. And I got this for quite a bit on Amazon. I mean, not, no, no, quite cheap. Like, I think it was like. 11 pound or something which was good for how much he was worth at the time like he was like maybe 70 on amazon before he just went down some reason next we have morton which is the all-star one as well and he's very white compared to the all the other ones and yeah he's he's pretty he's really cool and he just goes like <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the all-star one. I got him along with Lemmy and the big, this big Yoshi for Christmas. So, yeah, let's next move on to the final Koopaling I have, which is Ludwig. And this is the original one I got him with for Christmas along with the small all-star Yoshi and the all-star Bowser. This is the original one, obviously. And, yeah, here is all of my Bowser plushies. Including like Bowser Jr. and a few things. Next is the miscellaneous kind of section where this is like random plushies like Donkey Kong and Wario and stuff like that and power ups. Because I don't have many of them to really have different sections for them. So first is the All Star Wario, <laughs> which my brother gave me in a trade for a phone. Yes, a phone because it was a really bad phone. I said that in the last collection and he's really swag. He's you know, the big fat, the big fat robber that's obsessed with money. Then we've got a wee small BDNA one, which is Tig is already about to fall off. And he looks quite funny, he's Wario. And I got this along with all the other BDNA ones, like the Tig ones. And the Banjo Kazooie plush, obviously. Uh, next we have Dead DK, yep. Nice use of alliteration, dead DK. Uh, so me and my brother just messing around with him in bed, and his arm just kind of ripped. It was so funny. It was so out of the no out of nowhere. His arm just completely teared. We tried, we sewn it up again, and it only stayed up for like a few weeks again. And then he ripped again, and I couldn't be bothered. And he's really dusty. He has a bunch of threads coming out. He's really unsoft. He's really disgusting. Next we have the final one from the wing cap, uh, the Yoshi, and the one that I got for like a lot cheaper and they didn't have any tags. So it is DK, and we'll set him here. And the final plug for this kind of section is the one-up mushrooms. Not one-up mushrooms. And he still has the tag, which he plays sounds whenever you hit him. He's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then like he eventually makes up the wood makes the one-off sound for some reason, I'm not really sure why, but it's cool to have. I want to get the all-star power one day. They're like 
so cheap on Japanese websites. Like, I can probably get them for like, maybe like 30 for all of them. Maybe even less, so that's all of this kind of random section. Now on to the final section. This video has already been like 20 something minutes, so I need to get this done quick. And here we have, first I'm just gonna, he just fell. Uh, we're gonna start off with this huge boo. This is the claw machine Japan, Japanese exclusive Taito boo. And he is pretty cool. And I, I just put this first because he's taken up so much room. And we will just set him at the, just there, I guess. Yeah, just, just there. I could put some on top of him, like, next we'll just go on to the normal small boo, which I'll have here, he's just like, just be baby him. Next we have Goomba. It is Goomba. It won an only Goomba. Yes, that's Goomba, and there is another Goomba, which is under my legs. Here is the world of Nintendo Goomba. This is such a bad blush. Like, look at his body, it's so, like, flimsy and cheap, and his shape and colors and face just looks so bad. I do not like this plush, and you wouldn't be surprised if in the next plush collection he isn't there anymore. Yeah, I'll probably sell it, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, here's my first All-Star Koopa. I have another one, which I'll show in a second. So, there's nothing much to go on about him. He's, he has his back tie, and really worn out. Let me move these plushies a bit closer uh, over the edge. And... Here is a uh, like newer All-Star Koopa, he is the Europe one, and he still has his hang, like the hook thing, and I don't know why, do not know why, and it took me months to cut his tie off, or just take it off, or well, yeah, doesn't really matter. Next we have this old Sine Koopa, which was 2011, our little buddy, which is, it's Sine, but little buddy localized them to America I think maybe just and maybe the UK I'm not sure but or in Europe and stuff like that but let's just set him here next uh, Paratrooper which is huh, where is his back oh there it is 2012 yeah 2012 he'll go here because he's like yeah it kind of flies you know this this section isn't as big as I thought it would be. Next we have Chain Chomp. Just set him here. He will be in the video that I'm recording later. So yeah, new sneak peek. Wow, so cool. As if someone cares when they do not. Okay, here is All Star Cheap Cheap. Nothing to talk about him. His tie isn't too worn out, but you know, let's just set him there. He'll be this way like for you, huh? Next we have Kitty Piranha, and this is a fake one. This was like the fifth Mario plush I ever got, and yeah, I want to get the official one so I can just dispose of this one because I don't really want to have any fakes. I mean, I might get some because there's like some really good fakes, like the Meowser plush that came out lately, like the fake one. Uh, next. We'll just go on to Kamek. I got this along with a few other plushies from Japan last January. Why is there a hair on Chainsham? Okay, so here is Kamek, the All Star one. And we will set him here, I guess. Next is Pokey. And he's really cool. I wish they made an All Star one, to be honest, because. You know, I can't have enough Pokey plush. So let's just set him here, I guess. Next yeah. is Wiggler. And this was like my fourth Mario plush. I wanted this from like the very beginning, like a very long time ago. And I just love like seeing him without his mouth. I don't know why, but let's just set him here. 
we're into like the last five or something. Here is dry bones. Um, this is like not the all-star one. This is like the old Sine one. Wait, what's happened to the quality? Anyways, uh, here he is. So let's set him here. Next is uh, Shy Guy, and this is the all-star one, and he's really cool. Yeah, it's just Shy Guy. Let me get all the other ones out. So. Okay, so here we have World of Nintendo Blooper. I saw this in a clearance box in a store, and it was only three pounds, so I picked it up, and it's one of the only good World of Nintendo plushies, and sucks that you don't see it in stores, really. Here we have All-Star bob -omb, which is pretty cool. I like just, like, messing around with this, going, like... Just like making it like explode or something, I don't know. Uh, and the last plush, I think, is Spike. And he is getting an all-star one, which I'll probably get him, I'll get him for Christmas and with all the other ones. Which I made a video yesterday. Oh well, from when this was recorded. I don't know if this will come out today, the day I'm recording it, but whatever. That's the full enemy collection. So here is my full collection for June. I definitely plan on getting a lot more in the next few months if I do get money. But here is all of them for now on June 4th, I think it is today. And here's just an overview of just all of them. Why is he fell down? Why did he fall? Okay, there. Uh, Here's all of them. And. Yeah, I'm gonna count this after and. Yeah. Bye. Skeg my pounds, yo.